About 20 million people in Bangladesh drink water that contains too much salt. The water is contaminated by salt water intrusions from rising sea levels that result in more frequent flooding and stronger cyclones. Salinity is affecting the health of the population, especially pregnant women and their babies. At Imperial College in London and the Bangladesh Centre for Advanced Studies in Dhaka, scientists are developing technologies to provide clean water to coastal communities. Professor Paolo Vines is Chair in Environmental Epidemiology at Imperial College. Professor Vines, how did the project start? Yeah, it started uh, almost by chance because uh, um, I had a student um, at the master program uh, coming from Bangladesh and she told me this uh, new and interesting story about uh, the intrusion of uh, uh, salt into drinking water in coastal Bangladesh as a potential effect of climate change. Um, so what, what she discovered was that uh, there was an epidemic of hypertension among uh, pregnant women in uh, coastal Bangladesh, uh, Dakope. She just observed that in the local hospital there were many women uh, um, treated for hypertension in pregnancy. In developing countries, hypertension in pregnancy is a major cause of prematurity and neonatal and maternal death. Salt in food and water is strictly linked to high blood pressure, and in Dacopi, sodium intake during the dry season from water alone is three to eight times higher and the World Health Organization recommended overall maximum intake. How is water salinity increasing? Dr. Mohamed Hoke is a hydrogeologist at Imperial College. So it's happening in two ways. It's incre it, it increasing the salinity in, in an absolute term, and at the same time, it's, incre it's going into the land areas than it used to go. The salinity in the surface water was lower, say, 20 years before than now, definitely. And it was near to the coast. Now it's farther inland. It's up to around 120 kilometers inland from the coast areas. So over the last, say, decade, it's, uh, it's intruded around 50 kilometers farther inland. Normally it goes used to go around 50 kilometers. Now it's 100 and 120 kilometers. In the dry season it could go that far. The priority at this point is to identify methods for reducing salinity that Bangladesh can afford. Traditionally people have relied on rainwater. Rainwater is abundant but storing it safely is proving to be challenging. Scientists are testing different systems. One is underground aquifers, where rainwater injected into the ground. Preliminary tests, though, are showing that soil contamination is still possible. Other options are solar desalinization devices, but the most sustainable solution is probably communal ponds where rain collects. For reasons that are still unclear and probably related to the nature of underlying sediments, ponds also get contaminated by salt. Hydrogeologists from Imperial College have now established monitoring stations to study pond hydrology. In many ways, Bangladesh is a testing ground for issues that could affect many coastal areas in the world. The health crisis is serious, but preliminary data from a new study suggests that it can be solved and that switching to cleaner water quickly lowers the risk of hypertension.